Okay, so we're looking for the total area of this shape to our left. Now, previously we might have thought of dividing it into three different rectangles and finding the area of each. But this time what we're going to do is we're going to think of it as being one large rectangle and we're going to take out these two areas. So our rule will be the larger rectangle minus the small rectangle and another small rectangle. Now the area of rectangles is length by width. So we're putting these in there. And our large rectangle is 20 centimeters by 24 centimeters. Now let's say that this one in here is our smallest rectangle. So it is 10 centimeters. Let's put some brackets around there. 10 centimeters. Now this distance here is 24 minus the 8 and minus this 10. So that's going to be 6 centimeters. So times our 6. And then we want to take away this rectangle here, which was 10 centimeters, this one here, and 16 and 20 makes up the long one, so that side there is going to be 4. So minus a 10 times 4. Now we can do this in steps for simplifying all of this. So we have our 480, and 20 times 24, minus the 60, minus the 40. So it's minus 100, so 380. Don't forget to put your units in centimetres squared. And that's another way of finding the total area of a composite shape. Do, doing the large rectangle and subtracting from it a rectangle here and a rectangle here to get the same shape as you see above. Thanks for watching.